everyone. I'm Shamika Lamari, and I would like to give a talk on the future of artificial intelligence and how you can help improve it. So, as Oscar already stated, my background is in molecular and cellular biology from the University of California, Berkeley. I've since gone on to self-teach and learn data science. It's been an interesting journey, and part of that is mainly because of the communication around the data and um, machine learning as well as artificial intelligence um, language. I'm passionate about the possibilities of using data to improve our society, and AI is a part of that. It has a possibility to create a world where we're no longer bogged down by repetitive and mundane tasks, and instead we're able to focus on just being humans. But I didn't always understand what AI was, and I struggled to understand how data and AI were linked. From this, I went on and realized that if I didn't understand it, what did the general public understand about AI? And so I think this was an issue, and I realized that AI is generally portrayed as robots. And that is a part of AI, but in the media, it's generally portrayed in things like Terminator or iRobot, where robots go on and they um, take over the society and they um, basically are the demise of our society. But that's not the only thing that AI is. AI is also Google Maps, which led me here today. It's also Netflix and Pandora, which helped me choose the next movie I'm gonna watch or the next song I'm gonna listen to. It's Alexa and Google Home. So it's actually already integrated into our society regularly, but the general public isn't necessarily aware of this. Um, since then, I've been able to realize how data science and AI are connected. From this blog post that I found from David Robinson, he discussed how data science, machine learning, and AI um, are similar, but exactly what they produce. Data science produces insights, machine learning produces predictions, and artificial intelligence produces actions. So why is there a disconnect between what my understanding of AI was, and why is there a disconnect for how the media portrays AI? And this really all comes down to communication. Um, the way it's talked about in the media, the way it's written, and so forth. The language we use to discuss amongst each other, um, this has played a role in how everyone understands artificial intelligence. So it's important to really take time to understand that when we're discussing these types of things that we break it down for other people. For myself personally, when I meet people, particularly at this conference, I ask them like, oh, like, what do you do? And they'll tell me, and I'll go, okay, but like, what does that really mean? And I found that that's been really helpful. People have been really receptive <laughs> in understanding how to break down what they're doing because if they don't otherwise, it could have negative effects on like my understanding of AI as well as what um, whether or not I want to continue in that field because of my perception of what it is. And so it's important that if we really want to create a world that's um, inclusive for everyone, that we ensure we're using language that's inclusive and everyone is able to understand. So one of the things that we can do is just acknowledge that there's an issue, that there's a disconnect between what um, society understands AI is and what AI actually is. And from there, we can also use understanding to help us um, power and shape the future of AI so that we're ensuring that everyone understands and is able to contribute to this. And it's important, why? Because the general public will have a better understanding that AI is really important for our future, can have very positive benefits, and it's important for those like me who are interested in the field to not feel diverted or alienated from it because we just don't understand a word or a term that you used. So whether or not you realize it, we're building the future of artificial intelligence right now. And so it's important that we make sure that if we want to build a future for everyone, we're inclusive and we include everyone. And one way we can do that is by acknowledging the language we use. You need to understand that the language we use is going to be a big part of how the rest of society interprets artificial in intelligence. Thank you so much.